Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will paint Evelyn's upper body. As always, link for the model is in the description. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We will start with the main body and Nagar of Night. We will paint all the right side of Evelyn's outfit. Moving to the left side, we will do the exact same as the previous step, but this time using Korax White. With Rakarth Flesh, we will paint all the exposed skin from the outfit. With all the previous parts painted, we take Retributor Armor and paint the outline that separates the two parts and the skin. The gem under the breast as well as the small part of the outline that is on the bottom right should be painted as well. Using Corax White and a small brush we will paint the small bulge on the right side of the outfit. We will repeat the process with Nagar of Night on the left side. Making a one-to-one -one mix of Agrax Earthshade and Gnome Oil, we will shade the golden parts of the outfit. Once our shade has fully dried, with Retributor Armor, we will make highlights on the outline at the most flat areas that the light will hit. Making a mix of Nagar of Night and Zerius Purple, roughly one to one, we will highlight the right part of the outfit. Then we will add details of pure Zerius Purple on top of the areas we highlight. Going back to the left side with a one to one mix of Corax White and White Scar, or any other white you have, we will add highlights. Afterwards, we will add detail with white scar or any other pure white you have. Making another mix of roughly one to one, this time consisting of Rakkar flesh and Pallid Witch flesh, we will highlight the skin. On top of our highlights, we will add details of pure Pallid Witch flesh. Next part is the shoulders. Starting from the left one, we will base the entire piece with Corax White. Reusing our Corax White and White Scar mix, we will do edge highlights. Finally, we will add some details of pure White Scar over the edge highlights. This part did not get recorded unfortunately. Base the entire right shoulder piece with two layers of Nagaroth Knight. After the Nagaroth has dried, using Retributor Armor we will paint the areas close to the edges. As the area is really small, do take all the time you need in order to paint it. We will shade the gold with Agrax Earthshade. The most raised areas of the shaded gold will be highlighted with Retributor Armor. Then we will add details of Auric Armor Gold. And with that, the shoulders are finished. Moving forward to the arms, we will start with Nagaroth Knight, painting the entirety of both pieces. Using Retributor Armor, we will paint the nails. Using the mix of Agrax Earthshade and Null Noil we made during the outfit, we will shade the nails. Once the shade has fully dried, 
we will use Retributor Armor to highlight the most raised parts of the nails. Subsequently, we will add Auric Armor Gold details on the nails. For both hands, we will need once more the Nagaroth Knight and Xerius Purple mix we have created earlier. We will add highlights on both hands. Finally, we will add details of pure Xerius Purple to the arms and hands. After all the work, the result should look like this. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button for future videos. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.